Robert Alanius returns a adverse drug finding in his VADA test following a voluntary drug test taken the day before his bout with Anthony Joshua. So as we know, Alanius stepped in last minute. He had fought six days prior the previous Saturday. He won that fight in his native home of Finland. Third round stoppage, I believe. Okay, so Matchroom were informed of the results on Friday, two weeks after the Joshua fight. In a statement released by Matchroom on social media, they stated, Today, the Voluntary Anti-Doping Association FADA has informed Matchroom and the British Boxing Board of Control that Robert Hellenius has returned an adverse analytical finding as part of a random anti-doping protocol. Matchroom defers to the relevant regulatory authorities regarding the next step. We vehemently continue to support voluntary anti-doping testing. We are committed to promoting clean and fair sport. Okay, so the Finn beat Mika Mikalonin at a medieval castle in his homeland on the 5th of August. This is the fourth time in 12 months and the second time in as many weeks Boxing has faced serious questions regarding the cleanliness of the sport. We know that Conor Ben had his issues. Don't know if that's finished yet. And we know that Amir Khan was banned for two years earlier on this year. And then, of course, we have the Boom Gardener situation pending. Last I heard, she's asked for the B sample to be tested. So they actually named the compounds involved in the Baumgartner case. Baumgartner says she's never heard those compounds. He's a clean athlete. And we have the Dillian White situation. He also returned an adverse finding. Now, Robert Hellenius returns an adverse finding. And the common denominator in most of those cases are that they're all matchroom boxers. What the hell is going on? Let's have a look at this one. Robert Hellenius sends a message to Anthony Joshua following news of his adverse finding. In a statement released today, Hellenius protests his innocence and assures Anthony Joshua that he is a clean fighter. I just want to say something and make it very clear in my own words right now, with absolutely no exception. I did not use any performance enhancement now or ever, I have been tested my entire career. I was just told that I tested positive for the presence of a non-steroidal substance in my system. And I want to send an immediate and direct message to Anthony Joshua and the boxing fans that I did not cheat and nor would I ever. I volunteered to work with VADA and the British Boxing Board of Control to do whatever it takes to clear my name. So, Hellenius pleads his innocence. Another adverse finding in boxing. Can't wait to get to the bottom of this. On all the substances involved. Both the Hellenius case, the Dillian White case. This situation is getting out of hand. What is going on? Is there a problem with the fighters? Is there a problem with VADA testing? We must get to the bottom of this. I just thought I'd bring you that one. Keep you updated with the boxing news from around the world. We'll be going live later to cover the Alexander Usyk versus Daniel Dubois live right here on the Rafael Dawkins Combat Radio. Have your say. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. And for sure, drop a comment. And feel free to share. It's the Rafael Dawkins Combat Radio. We are